Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're tackling a topic that affects so many of us, keeping our hearts healthy. Did you know that heart disease is the number one cause of death globally, claiming a shocking 18 million lives each year? That's twice as many as cancer. In our busy lives, it's easy to forget how important our food choices are for our heart's health. But the truth is, what we eat really matters. It can either protect our hearts or put them in danger. So, let's get real. What are the top 10 foods that could harm your heart? We're here to uncover the worst offenders and give you some healthier options. From sugary treats to unhealthy fats, we'll cover it all. But hey, it's not all bad news. In future videos, we'll share tips and swaps to help you keep your heart happy and live longer. Stick around as we explore these heart-damaging foods together and give you the knowledge you need for a healthier heart. Let's go on this journey to better heart health together. Number 1. Sugar It's not just sweet, it can be sour for your heart health. When we eat too much sugar, it can really mess with our cardiovascular system. You see, sugar gives us a quick burst of energy, which is cool for our muscles and brain. But when we overdo it, trouble brews. One big issue is how it messes with our blood sugar levels. Too much sugar causes our blood sugar to shoot up fast, which can hurt our blood vessels and the cells inside them. This can lead to stuff like clogged arteries and a higher chance of heart disease and strokes. And here's the kicker. Eating too much sugar can also make us gain weight and become obese, which are big no-nos for our hearts. It can make our bodies less responsive to insulin, which might lead to type 2 diabetes down the road. Plus, too much sugar can mess with our gut bacteria and mess up our digestion. All these sugar spikes also stress out our hearts, making our heart rate and blood pressure go up. That's not good news because it can lead to problems like high blood pressure and other heart issues. So, it's best to keep an eye on how much sugar we're munching on for the sake of our hearts. Number 2. Donuts Those tasty treats we all love, but they're not exactly friends with our hearts. These sugary, fried delights might seem harmless, but they pack a punch when it comes to harming our cardiovascular health. Firstly, donuts are loaded with bad fats, especially trans fats, thanks to all that frying. These fats can mess with our cholesterol levels, making the bad stuff go up and the good stuff go down. This imbalance can lead to clogged arteries, making it harder for blood to flow to our hearts. On top of that, donuts are loaded with refined sugars, causing our blood sugar to spike and making it tough for our bodies to control it properly. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance and up our risk for type 2 diabetes, which isn't great news for our hearts. And let's not forget about all the artificial stuff thrown into donuts, additives, preservatives, and dyes, while they might not directly target our hearts. They don't exactly do our bodies any favors either. To keep our hearts happy, it's best to steer clear of donuts and opt for healthier choices like fruits, veggies, whole grains, and lean proteins that are lower in bad fats, sugars, and calories. Number 3. Fried Foods They're tasty but not so great for our hearts. When we fry foods, they soak up a lot of oil, which can be full of trans fats if it's the partially hydrogenated kind. These trans fats aren't friendly to our hearts and can clog up our arteries, making it hard for blood to flow smoothly. On top of that, fried foods are packed with calories, which can lead to weight gain and obesity. Two big no-nos for heart health. And let's not forget about all the high-calorie sauces and toppings we often dunk them in, adding even more calories to the mix. But here's the kicker. Fried foods are usually lacking in the good stuff our bodies need, like vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Instead, they're loaded with unhealthy fats and empty calories, which can throw our diets off balance and leave our hearts wanting more. To make matters worse, frying foods at high temperatures can create harmful compounds like acrylamide and AGs, which can cause inflammation and oxidative stress in our bodies, both of which up the risk of heart disease. And as if that wasn't enough, Eating fried foods can lead to bad eating habits. We often see them as treats and end up eating more than we should, which can lead to even more heart problems down the line. So, it's best to limit fried foods and opt for healthier cooking methods like baking, grilling, or steaming to keep our hearts happy and healthy. Number 4. Margarine Often seen as a healthier swap for butter, but it might not be as heart-friendly as you think. Margarine starts off with vegetable oils like soybean, palm, or canola oil, which are good sources of unsaturated fats. But here's the catch. 
To turn these oils into solid margarine, they go through a process called hydrogenation, which creates trans fats. These trans fats aren't great for our hearts and can cause inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which are linked to heart disease. What's more, margarine can also be high in omega-6 fatty acids, especially if it's made from oils like soybean or corn. Too much omega-6 without enough omega-3 can lead to inflammation, which isn't good news for our hearts either. And let's not forget about all the artificial stuff sometimes added to margarine to make it taste better. While these additives might not directly hurt our hearts, they don't exactly make margarine a health food either. To keep our hearts happy, it's better to choose alternatives like olive oil or spreads labeled trans fat free. And it's a good idea to focus on getting healthy fats from sources like avocados, nuts, and fatty fish, while cutting back on processed foods that sneak in hidden trans fats. Number five. High sodium foods. These are foods with a lot of salt. Salt is important for our bodies, but too much can be bad news for our hearts. Salt is made up of sodium and chlorine, and they help balance water and regulate blood pressure. But when we eat too much salt, it can cause problems, especially for our hearts. It makes our blood pressure go up because our arteries try to hold onto more water, which puts extra pressure on our hearts to pump blood through our bodies. Over time, this can lead to serious heart issues like high blood pressure. So, it's important to cut back on high sodium foods to keep our hearts healthy. Instead, we can use natural spices, unrefined sea salt, or herbs to flavor our food without all the extra sodium. These simple swaps can help us maintain optimal heart health. Number six, fast foods. It's convenient, but it can really mess with our heart health. These quick meals are often loaded with unhealthy fats, tons of salt, and sugars all of which can cause chaos in our cardiovascular system. One of the biggest problems with fast food is the trans fats. These fats are made in a lab and are super bad for our hearts. They raise our bad cholesterol levels and up our risk of heart disease. Eating too much of them is like throwing fuel on the fire of inflammation in our arteries. Fast food is also crazy high in salt, which is known for jacking up our blood pressure. Many fast food items have way more salt than we should be eating in a whole day which can lead to a big problem with high blood pressure for lots of people. And let's not forget about the portion sizes. They're usually way too big, which leads to eating too many calories. This can make us gain weight and become obese, both of which are bad news for our hearts. Plus, eating fast food can make us develop unhealthy eating habits that stick around even after we finish our meal. Even though fast food is everywhere and cheap, it's not worth the toll it takes on our hearts. Choosing whole, nutritious foods and cooking at home can help keep our hearts happy and healthy in the long run. Number seven, seed oils. They're everywhere, but they might not be the best for our hearts. These oils, taken from seeds like soybean, corn, and sunflower, are often promoted as healthy choices, but they can actually cause problems for our cardiovascular system. One big issue with seed oils is their high omega-6 fatty acid content. While we need some omega-6 fats, having too much especially compared to omega-3 fats, can lead to inflammation, which isn't good news for our hearts. The process of making seed oils usually involves high heat and chemicals, which can create harmful compounds like trans fats and free radicals. These bad boys are known for causing oxidative stress and harming our heart cells. On top of that, seed oils are often used in processed foods, which aren't exactly known for being heart-friendly. They're cheap and easy to find, which makes them popular in the food industry but that widespread use isn't doing our hearts any favors. To keep our hearts happy, it's best to be mindful of the oils we use in cooking. Choosing heart-healthy options like olive oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil can help keep our tickers in tip-top shape. Number eight, bread. It's a common food in many diets, but eating too much or choosing the wrong kinds can be bad for our hearts. One big issue with certain types of bread is that they're packed with refined carbohydrates. Take white bread, for example. It's processed in a way that removes important nutrients and fiber, causing our blood sugar to spike quickly. This can lead to problems like insulin resistance and weight gain, which aren't good for our hearts. Some store-bought breads also have too much added sugar, preservatives, and unhealthy fats, which can cause inflammation and high blood pressure. Both bad news for our hearts. Plus, bread can sneak in hidden sodium, especially in processed varieties, which can raise our blood pressure and put extra strain on our hearts. But don't worry. Bread can still be part of a heart-healthy diet if we choose wisely and eat it in moderation. 
opting for whole grain breads and watching out for added sugars and sodium can help reduce the risks associated with bread consumption. Number nine, alcohol. It's often enjoyed socially, but too much of it can be bad for our hearts. While having a drink or two in moderation might have some benefits for our heart, like possibly increasing good cholesterol levels, drinking too much or too often can cause a bunch of heart problems. One big issue is how alcohol affects our blood pressure. Drinking a lot over time can lead to high blood pressure, which is a big risk factor for heart disease. It messes with our central nervous system, making our blood pressure go up and putting extra strain on our hearts and blood vessels. Too much alcohol can also weaken our heart muscles, making it harder for our hearts to pump blood properly. This can make us feel tired and even lead to heart failure in serious cases. And let's not forget about the calories in alcohol. They're empty calories, meaning they don't give us any nutrients. If we don't burn off those extra calories through exercise, they can make us gain weight and become obese, which isn't good for our hearts either. Drinking too much alcohol can also mess with our heart rhythms, causing irregular heartbeats that can be dangerous or even life-threatening. Plus, it can lead to atherosclerosis, where plaque builds up in our arteries, restricting blood flow and increasing the risk of heart attacks or strokes. So, it's important to enjoy alcohol in moderation to keep our hearts healthy and happy. Number 10. Rice it's a staple food for many people around the world, but it can affect our heart health depending on how much and what type we eat. White rice, which is often polished to remove the outer layers, ends up being a refined product that lacks important nutrients and fiber. Because of this, it gets digested and absorbed quickly, causing spikes in blood sugar levels. Consistently, high blood sugar can lead to insulin resistance and eventually, heart disease. But then there's brown rice. It keeps those outer layers and is a whole grain, making it a much healthier choice. Brown rice has more fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants compared to white rice. The fiber in brown rice helps keep our blood sugar levels steady, lowering the risk of insulin resistance and diabetes, both of which are bad for our hearts. It's also important to think about how we prepare and eat rice. Fried rice dishes, rice cakes, and snacks made from rice often involve unhealthy cooking methods and added fats, which can raise our cholesterol levels and up the risk of heart disease. And regardless of the type, eating too much rice can make us gain weight, which isn't good news for our hearts either. So, when it comes to rice, it's best to opt for brown rice and watch our portion sizes to keep our hearts happy and healthy. And that's it for today, the top 10 foods that aren't great for your heart. But remember, knowing is power and we're here to help you make healthy choices. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's work together to keep our hearts happy and healthy. Thanks for watching today, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay well.